Hey people, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I upload every Friday and Sunday. Today I'm going to show you what I pack for Disney. Um, this is for Disneyland, not Walt Disney World because since I live in California, um, I've never been to Walt Disney World so it may be different for you guys um, what to pack for that certain park because I don't know. It might be the same, it might be different, I don't know. I just know that what to pack for Disney because I've been going there since I was five, I think, maybe earlier, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so mostly everything I pack is in this bag right here. It's a backpack I got it from my high school track days, you know, and then I just have this pin on it. Which is from one of the, um, here, I'm going to take it off. And then I just have this pin on it, which is from one of the breakfast, um, uh, meet and greets that you can do with the characters. This is from the Storytellers Cafe, which is in the Grand California Hotel, which is a really pretty hotel. I do not want to get off the topic, so I'm going to keep going with my stuff. So, first things first, what I like to do is I like to bring a backpack. I like to bring a medium size backpack that fits me and my body size. Uh, you can go always go for a smaller backpack or something larger than this. It depends on your preference. I just like this size. Um, what I like to put first in my backpack is the things I'm going to use last in the day. So I pack a pair of sweatpants, just plain old sweatpants because sometimes the nights can get cold depending on the season. Um, sometimes I will just wear the sweats in the morning or the night because I get cold. Or I will bring a jacket like this and of course it has to be Disney. It says um, Disneyland on it right here. It has all the different characters. Um, I've had my mom, actually, this is actually my mom, so it's a hand-me-down type item, and she's had it for like years from the Disney store. But yeah, I like to bring a big, huge jacket just because, again, for the night, I tend to get cold and I do not do well in the cold because I start shivering, I start freezing. I'm one of those people that get cold really, really fast. Like, and, re and not really fast, like really easily. I get cold really easily. Um, but yeah, so I always bring so hands and a jacket and those go on the bottom of my bag. Sometimes, especially if it's like summertime and it's kind of chilly at night, I will either just wear the sweatpants or just the jacket. I won't wear both. If it's the winter time, I would definitely wear both. Or even I bring these just in case I get wet on a water ride and I have something to change into. Um, I also bring an extra pair of shorts slash pants. Um, if I'm wearing if I'm wearing pants a day, I will just wear these the rest of the day. If I'm bringing if I'm wearing shorts like during the summertime, I will bring extra shorts with me because I don't want to wear this all day. I don't want to wear my sweatpants all day and just be like hot in them and like burning up and such. So I will bring extra shorts with me just in case I'm wearing in case my shorts get too soaked and I'm not staying in a hotel. So it's just a one day trip. Next on my list is going to be in this little bag the front pocket right here and I have these two items I do put my makeup in a baggie and also my charger and my portable charger and a um, wall plug-in charger just because in case the water ride in case they do get wet or something uh, so first up I do bring makeup I like to bring a lipstick that I'm wearing so it's this this one this one is the Long Lasting Matte Liquid Lipstick from Sateen, and it's the number 11. It's this purpley, really pretty um, lipstick. I'm definitely feeling summer and spring vibes today because it's like it's quite hot today in California. It's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, not Celsius, for those of you that live over the pond. Um, but yeah, we, we go Fahrenheit. We don't do Celsius, which is quite hot. I do not know the calibrations for this to cross over. So yeah, I like to bring the lipstick of my choice for the day. And I will put it in the back of the baggie so I can show you the next time. 
And then my next item is a compact powder or a finishing powder or some sort of powder that I need to uh, fix up myself in case I get dewy. This is the Satine Mineral Compact Powder in the 01 Nude, so which is my shade. So this is one I have on, and I really love this um, powder. It works very well. It doesn't uh, work so for about four hours, and then I have to reapply. Which is pretty good for a dollar. It's let me say this again, a dollar powder. It's like amazing. I will leave the link below so you can see it. But if you can't see it, it's from uh, shopmissa.com. And then the brush I have is this Elf Complexion brush, which is like one of my favorites to apply um, powders with. The fun. yeah, I just love it because it's, it's so soft and it's like I love silver like. I love silver and like I like silver and I like bamboo because I like I think they're pretty and so soft. I just love like running this over my face. But I shouldn't because then it spreads germs. I need to clean it so and then I will I just picked this up randomly because of the first thing I got. Uh, I generally just bring a mirror, but this time I brought I picked up a eyeshadow palette with a mirror in it. So yeah, I generally just do a mirror just in case I need to reapply my lipstick and but my and my phone won't do the justice so I'm like just bring me out. I probably do bring a smaller mirror than this. Um, I have one of those kids mirrors that's like shaped in a flower that I probably that I use sometimes. Next item on the list is two okay these are probably crumbled up because I just like I've been to Disney so many times I probably I just get the maps just for to see what's new and everything. So these are pretty crumbled up. Um, but is to get a map. When you go to Disney, um, before you hand your pass, your ticket, or whatever, to the person, pick up a map right in front of their scan or thing. So yeah, this one's from Cal Adventure, this one's from Disney. They're both in the Disneyland Resort. Especially if you are new to Disneyland and want to know where the rides are at, where the restaurants are at, where the nearest bathroom instead of just asking a customer the whole time get a map they have everything on here for you let me open up one of these so i can show you guys so once you open it up the first thing on this side thing will tell you what you don't want to miss this one's a really old one because this one's from the december one so yeah even though i went last week this is all like the special announcements they have over here and um, but this is part of the map so so let's open it one more time and again and again so over here we can see it's the map of Disneyland you see the whole thing on each each color represents a different land um like the pink is fantasy land I believe and it will have the attractions, it will have Disney Dining where you can eat in Fantasyland. Um, yeah, so Disney Dining is Maurice Treats, the Village House Restaurant, and Jewar Tavern. And then um, Edelweiss Snacks, which is one of my favorites. And then um, each, like, they have Sleep Beauty's Castle right here, which has a um, alternate experience for wheelchairs, so they always have the Hobbit wheelchair thing. Um, they will, sh like, right here, it says a walkthrough. And there's bathrooms, or where? I don't see bathrooms on here. But I know if you go on to this side of the map, right here, on the far left, uh, it will show you what everything means, what symbols mean, because it has a bunch of symbols on the map. So you can find the nearest bathroom there. And then on this side, it has some park rules, some special considerations for the attractions, what you must do for your safety, uh, four good ways to a safer day. Uh, cut the wait time and the fast pass. If you don't know what fast pass is, it describes here what a fast pass is for you. If you um, want to capture magic, it tells you all about the Disney Photo Pass and how you can get that. On this side of the thing, it shows you where you can get 
where he, you can smoke, where you can get lockers, where you can get charging lockers. They actually have portable chargers um, and charging lockers for you so you can charge your phone in case you do not have a portable charger. But they get kind of expensive, so I'd suggest go get a cheap um, portable charger and just charge it. Because mine lasts for like about six hours. My next is, is to get some gum. Disneyland does not sell gum. They do not think it's because they Disneyland sells do not sell gum in the resort because they don't want to have to clean up the mess. So I just bring your own pack if you want gum. Um, next tip, I suggest you bring some lotion, especially on those summer days, because we get kind of hot. And you're, if you want like people like me, my skin is quite sensitive, and my hands get really dry. And I'm, I can I can already tell like say it's getting really dry just around here. So I always pick up a, I always bring a lotion or a hand cream with myself. This one is from Bath and Body Works. It's the April app. April bath and shower. It's the pear and sandalwood scented, which is one of my favorites. Next, if you don't wear lipstick, I suggest you bring chapstick. This is the um, Disney Lip Smackers. It's one of my favorites. It smells like my childhood because like it smells like that bubblegum play-doh scent, but it just, it just works really well with myself, so that's what I used to wear in my childhood. Um, yeah. I also suggest you bring extra hair ties just in case your hair tie snaps. So I always leave that in my bag. Um, for myself, I am a um, annual pass holder. Um, so I always like to put, bring a little lanyard. Mine is Sally from the Met for Christmas. I have a Boba Fett keychain on here. So yeah, I like putting my annual pass in um, a lanyard to just put around my neck so I can't, so I can just go, they can basically scan it through this so I don't have to keep going, oh, take out my wallet and get the pass, get the pass, get the pass. Especially it's easier when you're trying to get fast house, so you just slip it out here and just stick it into the machine. So yeah, and I just put this in my bag. I put that in my bag when I'm traveling to Disneyland, when I'm at Disneyland, I have it around my neck. Um, next tip is to, I always like to pack, um, either a hat or some of my ears. Either one, they're both Disney themed, as you say, one is Minnie Mouse and the other is a Star Wars. Um, I definitely wear my ears more than I would do wear a hat, but if you're more of a hat person and you don't want to get your head burned or you just want some shade in your eyes, I wear just glasses, uh, sunglasses, oh, another tip, bring sunglasses if you want it. Uh, because it gets, it's very sunny in California. There are very limited days where we have clouds and it's cloudy outside. So yeah, bring sunglasses, bring hat, something to shade your eyes because you, you can hurt your eyes if you do not have something to protect your eyes. So yeah, sunglasses, ears, or hat, I love to bring it all. If I'm wearing my ears, I would wear my, my sunglasses, and if I'm wearing my hat, I don't generally wear my sunglasses, but I bring them just in case, and I put them in the small bag. Um, next thing to bring is snacks, because Disney can get quite expensive with their snacks. So I like to bring like these. These three are like my favorites. Um, so I like, even though I hate, I broke these and ate something. So the first one is watermelon slices, which are like a sour candy, and then we have the Starburst. Starburst jelly beans. I don't. I like Starburst, and I think Starburst jelly beans are quite interesting. I just don't like the red ones or the purple ones because they're quite. I don't like cherry or right those sparrows. And then I like to snack on licorice. I also like to bring some granola bars. Just a snack on during the lines or when you're walking around the park. And I'm gonna keep eating it. Ew, it's a red one. Ew, gross. Or is the yellow one? But, um, let's see. Uh, next tip, um, tip I like to bring is a deodorant because you can get quite sweaty in the summer, especially the summertime. You can get quite sweaty, so you need to reapply, you know, just do that thing. Um, 
Oh, um, to capture your memories, bring a camera or a phone to capture those pictures. And I think that's it. I think that's all the magic I have to share with you guys today. So I will see you Sunday for another Disney Sunday video. Bye, Bills. I almost forgot to include drinks. So what I like to pack is I like to pack a water and I also like to bring soda. Because again, the price at Disneyland is quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I always like to bring my own drinks, my own snacks. Sometimes I do bring my own food if I am low on budget. But I generally eat there or I just snack all day, which is good for me because I basically can live off snacking. I not want people that need to eat a full meal. The only meal I need to eat is like dinner time, but I usually like get fast food on the way home. So yeah. And then another thing to add to that is to bring cash to Disneyland because it's so much easier to use cash than actually use your card. Um, it makes you um, be aware of what money you um, are actually spending at Disneyland instead of having to check your phone and wasting the battery on that. Oh, wasting your battery, maybe the Wi-Fi is not working or your phone is not working as nice, so it's better to have cash so you know actually the amount um, you're actually spending. Um, it just makes it easier for the cast members so you don't have to sign every time, sign every time, sign every time, and you just make, build up a line. Um, it's just a lot easier than a card, I suggest you just bring like bring a couple 20s or 10s or even fives go get yourself a dough whip in a Jiro because that's what I like to do um but yeah so I'll see you all next week and I'll see you, I'll see you all on Sunday bye so like tell me my mother was a hamster and my father smelled of elderberries and they're gonna fart in our general direction I'm about to film. Stupid thing. Curse, you trash man. What is this? Any commercials? Hi, commercials. You <laughs> is. <laughs> 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 Should I wear this pen? On my Harry Potter shirt. Let's put it on the back. Yeah, let's do that. Make it a little more Disney-ish. <gasps> I can my ears, so... And a hat! Oh! Stupid trash person! Go away! Seriously! Seriously? Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god. 
Ooh, this is nice. Stacks at your charger. Yeah. Welcome to my channel, Stupid Garage Man. Stupid. God, you 